the Secretary, as she came to office, uh, has made a, a huge uh, effort out of uh, working uh, more closely uh, and collegially uh, with uh, the state and local uh, governments uh, uh, and uh, uh, with the private sector. The fusion centers represent an opportunity uh, both uh, to communicate uh, from the perspective of what we see here in Washington, but, but she, as a former governor, uh, truly appreciates that Washington is not all-knowing uh, or all-seeing, and, and that um, while uh, information flowing down uh, is hopefully useful, uh, information flowing back up uh, can be equally uh, or more useful. A shooter can be al-Qaeda or a lone wolf individual operating in the United States. The effect is still the same. A small explosive device or a large explosive device can be set off by someone who has no foreign nexus or somebody who has a foreign nexus. The effect is still the same. From the infrastructure protection perspective, what we need to help people do is think about what kinds of uh, remediative measures can they take to reduce uh, or prevent the likelihood of that kind of an attack, whether it's standoff barriers or uh, magnetometers coming into buildings or, or other things like that. After um, the Mumbai attack uh, earlier, uh, our uh, Office of Infrastructure Protection as well as uh, the Information and Analysis section uh, of DHS sent out both to the fusion centers uh, and to uh, the sector uh, coordinating committee that contains the hotel industry, uh, particular pieces of information that characterize the attack and that talk about what kinds of standard security measures might be taken uh, by security forces in uh, those kinds of uh, uh, institutions. So while we don't have a method of compelling uh, those kinds of actions, it was a reminder of the standard set that we didn't invent that were put together uh, by uh, law enforcement and protective uh, uh, organizations uh, that uh, the hotel sector had seen before, but it was just a reminder um, in case they'd put it in a place that they didn't remember where it was, uh, that they would be able uh, to uh, refresh their memories about uh, simple kinds of things that can be done. Uh, the same would be true uh, with respect to this. So, you know, it's not a foreign terrorist nexus or somebody in the U.S. along the lines of the Oklahoma City bombing who would do harm. It's how do we protect uh, uh, government and private sector institutions that might be targets of these kinds of activities, whether they're lone wolf attacks um, or uh, groups uh, of individuals, whether they're uh, a single uh, weapon uh, kinds of attacks, as in guns, or large bombs. Uh, all of those are in the domain that we have to think about and worry about uh, on a daily basis. We've got a lot of uh, stuff that's already been done, and we're scratching our heads uh, to figure out what haven't we thought about or what haven't we done in order to be in a position to do uh, the best job of protecting the American people on a daily basis.